Ian Rappaport <sighs> has just tweeted the following. The Packers and MVP quarterback Aaron Rodgers have agreed to terms on a four-year, $200 million deal that makes him the highest-paid player in NFL history. He gets a whopping $153 million guaranteed, and his cap number goes down. A monstrous commitment by Green Bay for years to come. Yeah. I I can hope that he doesn't transcend time, but no I does. just don't know. He stays winning. Unbelievable. This is reverse Bears Monday on a Tuesday on the score. It, it, you want the reward for having, you, you can be the, the biggest jackass to walk the face of the planet, the biggest, and you, and you, I know you don't like diagnosing people, I do. So, <laughs> yes, I, you do. I, so, <laughs> biggest truth ever yes, told on this show. I absolutely Dr. do. Dr. Bernstein On the says. score. Yes, I, I, will, I will hang the shingle and say that you can, that is, that is one lucrative narcissistic personality disorder. Is what that is. 153. Is it the most lucrative? No, that no, happened already. No, that that, that dude's not on Twitter. <laughs> right, that ha- it gets it gets you kicked off Twitter. But now there's Truth Social where nobody is. Nobody's there at all. But there we go. Aaron Rodgers, 153 million guaranteed. All right. Okay. Is this all because they drafted Jordan Love? Because if so, that was a bad move by them. <laughs> yeah, no, we need now the hits principles coming to get him. So hustle intensity taking the ball away and situational hustle and intensity and situational taking of the ball away intensely here's and the, then there goes Aaron don't Rodgers. take this out on a dude who hasn't even been here go get him go that's get him. not what this is this is it put his picture up there with with any other posters and slogans the Saints did that and, and they got popped for years no, I'm not saying you have to try to hurt him. I'm just saying you have to uh, maybe, you know, get there every if once If only Grace and Allen played football for a team not in Milwaukee. It's football, damn it. It's different. It's a violent game played by violent men who do violent things to people. I don't know. but Yeah, uh, there, we have feelings about this, but we can't categorize them. Uh, okay, here's, here's the thing. How many years do you think is left on him? On Aaron Rodgers, he's 37 Right? I thought it was 38. 38? He's 52. I say he's got another... He's 38. Okay. He was born in 83, desecrating that beloved year. Maybe two prime-ish years and a couple of not-so-prime-ish years. Okay. Depending on acute injury. Depending on broken bones and missing head and whatever it might be. Missing head. That's a bad one. You don't want to get that one. I'm going to say that he keeps his head... I, I don't even know. I, here's the thing. You are you knew that he was likely to stay with Green Bay. You just didn't know how. But here's the thing that gets me about all of this. He won. Yep, that is. The- all of the junk that he put his team through and fans through and this and that. He won. If he's only thinking about himself and not a Super Bowl. Any way you look at it, no good deed goes unpunished. And sometimes no bad deeds go unrewarded. And and like you say, time this up with the Justin Fields contract now. Yeah, Cam Ellis did that for us. Cam's our guy. Yep. This is the, this. There you go. This is your Justin Fields experience will be concurrent with your Aaron Rodgers experience. And maybe if you're looking at your half full glass, you're thinking, "All right, this is when you this is when you want to get him." And this is when nobody ever beats time. No one beats. The 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 march of time when it comes to athletics. At some point, you are done. You well you can't do it anymore. If you hate the Denver Broncos, today is your day because they kept thinking fans that somehow Aaron Rodgers was walking through that door. So that's still not happening. <laughs> Tweet from Rex Hupke, the former Tribuner and still a Bears fan, says, "Okay, maybe I will try some ivermectin now." And our and Robert Mays, who will join us uh, just after the top of the hour, said one day the sun will rise and the Packers won't employ one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. It will happen but, but someday. I'm still, was all of this because they drafted Jordan Love and then gave him one game to perform and it didn't go well? Is that is that what this is? I don't know. 
because he it kind of sucks for him. You keep the guy who's good. There's no doubt about that. It kind of sucks for him. And but this all started because he got pissy about Jordan Love being drafted. It would have been something else, Can though, I wouldn't say it? That? Sure. It would have been something else. That was the thing that made him behave that way that time. But it's not like, I mean, this he, he looks for the next thing lurking around to to be the next slight against him or some reason to drive a personal wedge. It's just how he exists. But realistically, do you think that the Packers are, are favorites to win a Super Bowl next year? They have the highest paid player in the league now. Like that that's how you come at this. Are they favorites against the Bears? Probably. They're the divisional favorites for sure. Correct on that. But that's not that's not what we're trying to figure out here. Favorites to win the I Super think we Bowl? have to figure out the retirements possible for the LA Rams too while we're sitting here. Yeah, and I think the the Chiefs and the Bills are gonna have something to say about things when all is said and done, but yeah, I'm back at the MVP back. Because I, but I don't know, man. That's that's the piece of this that you're trying to figure out. But if you're looking at it from just a Aaron Rodgers standpoint, as in Aaron Rodgers to Aaron Rodgers about Aaron Rodgers, then he won. 